Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya. What's up, fourth grade, and welcome to the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. This is video number 10. I sure hope that you have your worksheet because we're about to get started. And if you don't, don't worry, there should be a link below or somewhere around this video. Click that, it'll take you to somewhere where you can download and print the pages for this episode and the other episodes in the fourth grade series. All right, so go ahead, press pause, solve the two problems on your own, throw down your best, show all your thinking, show your journey on paper, and come on back when you are ready to check your work. Welcome back fourth grade. All right, so let's first identify the question type. So just looking and scanning the question, I'm seeing four answer choices here, which means that this is a multiple choice question. Okay, now let's mark up our text. This says an addition statement is shown. So adding an addition statement is shown right there. And I'm noticing there's something missing. There's a box right there, right? What is the missing digit that makes the addition statement true? Is it one, three, five, or seven? Okay, so we have a missing digit there and you might be going like, well, how do I even do this? Technically for this problem, most of the work is done for you. Let's focus on what you know. You know how to add, okay? So let's walk through this problem and just kind of see what we can do with it. Okay, so right here in this column, we have five and five is an easy 10 plus 4 is 14. That makes sense that there's a 4 there. Let's go ahead and carry or regroup our 1 up top. 1 and 9 is 10 plus these guys right here would be 12. We've got our 2 here. Let's bring our 1 up. 1 plus 0 is 1. We don't know what that is but we know that 1 plus 3 is four. Well, here we have one. So one plus three could not equal one. So the next number up would be 11 to give us that ones place. So what number would we need to put here to get us to 11? So four plus what equals 11? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 plus seven. Let's see if seven works there to give us 11. Let's keep going though, let's not stop. Let's make sure the whole thing is true. One plus five is six, plus one is seven. Seven plus two is nine, that works out. So all these down here so far have worked out. And this is a good way to show your journey that you've already been here, you've checked through each one. Two plus two is four, four plus seven is 11. We've got our one there, that makes sense. And then we have one plus one is two, and two plus three is five. 
and five is what we have right there, right? So which digit makes the addition statement true? It is not one, it is not three, it is not five, but it is seven. Let's take a look at number two. First, let's take a peek at what the question type could be. I do have multiple choice here. I've got an A, B, C, and D, but this is embedded in a different kind of response. This is actually an editing task because we're going to have to read and fill in our answer or edit the statement. Mrs. Jackson writes two numbers on the whiteboard as shown below. So Mrs. Jackson, and actually shout out to Mrs. Jackson. She's one of my good teacher buddies. Miss Jackson, if you are watching this with your students, I wish you all the very, very best. I miss your face and uh, congratulations, you made it to the problem. Okay, so Mrs. Jackson writes two numbers on the whiteboard as shown below. So these two numbers. Let's read those numbers together. Read with me. We have 100,652 and we have 79,678. I'm reading it like that because that's how I teach you how to read numbers in my McCarthy Math 155 series. And please stay tuned to the end of this episode and I will point you in the right direction for some more practice. All right, this says, Complete the statement below to make it true. So all we're gonna do is complete this statement below and make it true. Fill in the bubble before the correct choice. Okay, so to find the difference of the two numbers, we need to do something here. I see add, add, subtract, subtract. Well, what does difference mean? Yeah, it means that we need to subtract them. If finding the difference means we subtract, then what can we eliminate? We can eliminate A because it says to add the two numbers and B because it says to add the two numbers. We're not adding here, we're not finding the sum, we're finding the difference. So what we're gonna do is subtract these two numbers. And actually I could already tell right here because if we're subtracting 100,652 minus this one, it's not going to get us a greater answer, right? So this one we can eliminate. Let's make sure that this is true though, right here. Two minus eight is, we need to regroup. Let's take one, that becomes a four. Give one, that becomes a 12. 12 minus eight is four. Four minus seven is regroup. Take one, that becomes a five. Give one, that becomes 14. 14 minus seven is seven. Five minus six is, we need to regroup, take one. I can't take one, so we'll go over here. Take, I can't take one from there, but I can here. Take one, that becomes a zero. Give one, that becomes a 10. And let's trickle it down. Take one, that becomes a nine. Give one, that becomes a 10. Take one, that becomes a nine. Give one, that becomes 15. And now 15 minus six, what is it? It is nine. Are we looking good? Ooh, we're looking good. Nine minus nine is zero. Ooh, -hoo. hot dog. Nine minus seven is two. That's what we needed, right? We needed 20,974. Oh boy. Okay, so let's mark up C. Just like that. That was a fun lesson today, awesome. Go ahead and make any corrections that you need to make and then I would like to take this opportunity to point you in the direction of some more practice. All right, you know that I'm all about helping you to get stronger and more confident with math and that is why I created McCarthy Math 155. If you know that you need some more practice with adding, maybe subtracting, or you have to regroup, you know you need some help there and that's totally okay. Okay, you don't wanna just keep on going on in life and not know how to subtract. Take charge of your learning and get it done. And the way that you can do that is to click on unit two and you will see tons of adding and subtracting video lessons where you and I, we work together through the problems to help you feel confident with math. Now this is a membership. This is a members only area, McCarthy Math 155, but you can totally snag a free seven day trial. If you're like, I need some practice, we'll get yourself some seven days free, all right? And teachers, if you choose to become a member, this is something that you can actually share with your students. I walk through how to do just that in the tutorials tab. So check out McCarthy Math 155, y'all. I'm really proud of what it's doing in classrooms, in schools, in districts across the nation. It's just truly 
It makes my day. It makes my life. I love it. Love being able to help you. Next, if you know that you need some help with this particular standard right here, there is a video series that I created called How to Pass the Math FSA. This was created like back in 2016. And when it was created, it was based on a computer-based test. Now this year, you will be taking a paper-based test. So the questions, they look just a little bit different because there's some things that you can do on a computer that you can't really transfer over into paper, which is why I wanted to create the series, this one that you're watching right now, the Math FSA Bootcamp. So even though it's a little bit outdated, how to pass the Math FSA, it's still wonderful practice. It's still standards based. I do encourage you to check it out. Link below. Boom. If you like this video and you want to stay in the loop with everything that I'm working on and videos that I'm putting out, I really encourage you to follow me on my social media platforms. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. I'm also on YouTube <laughs> at McCarthy Math Academy. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and click that like button. It helps me to get these videos to more and more students and teachers because I truly believe it's our responsibility to figure out what our gifts are and use them to make the world a better place. So help me to use what I'm good at creating these videos and helping you learn math to reach more students. I appreciate you. In fact, go ahead and subscribe. That way you're the first to know when I launch a new video. And finally, before I go, I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose. That is right. You are the ones that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have a whole new generation of world changers ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice and you always have the choice, choose kindness. And I will see you all in the next episode.